Hey coaches, what's going on? It is Coach Tim here with another video, guys, and I have a really good one for you today. We're going to talk about what plays I would run with a 8U team or below, guys. I get asked this question a lot um, by you peewee coaches who want to implement the beast, but not sure if the beast formation, the strongman beast offense, um, it's good for your team. But um, I'm going to show you the, the exact plays that I would run, particularly three plays that I would run um, running um, in the beast formation. All right, guys. So uh, before we get into this video, do me a solid like and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, guys, you'll be doing me a big solid, guys. And also, if you have subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be up to date on all the beast formation content, all the beast out you content that I have coming down the pipe. All right, guys. So let's get into this video. So guys, listen, I, I'm going to be honest with you. If I was the head coach of, let's say, an 8U team, 7U team, 6U, or even a 5U team, I'm not going to run a gauntlet of plays, all right, guys? Because I have enough trust in my beast offense that if I only use 5 to 10 plays, guys, I'm going to dominate games at will in this age group. And I want to show you really the top three plays, and I may show you one more play that I would run um, with a 8U or below team. All right, guys, so let's get into it. So first and foremost, guys, what I realized that when you're playing against kids or the peewee level um, where it's 8U or below, that a lot of these defenses that you're going to play against, you're going to play against eight-man fronts, Monster fronts, six twos. You're going to play against a lot of those type of uh, defenses. So, and, and they're going to be lined up in the box. They're going to be playing to stop the run most of, of the time. Well, what I would do is I would fight fire with fire, guys. Um, a lot of these kids on defense, they'll try to line up in the box here. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm out of space to write a defense, but let's say they line up in the box here. And my whole goal, guys, is I want to make sure that I get leverage with numbers. Um, what's so cool is my uh, five- and six-year-old coach ran the Beast offense, and he had a lot of success running against teams who are lining up in the box but don't know how to – coaches that don't know how to really adjust their kids. So what I do is I would line up my kids in the wide set of the Beast offense, and I would just give it to my quarterback and – running to the outside, guys. And, and he don't have to stretch to play all the way to the outside like I see a lot of kids do. But he just needs to go right in between the inside beats back and the middle beats back uh, to have a lot of luck. Because really, the way I coach my kids, period, is I want to prepare my kids for the next level. So I'm going to teach my kids how to read their running lanes how to read their blocks. I'm going to teach my beast backs how to block in space, how to properly drive block. Because, see, I want my team to be fundamentally sound. And so one thing you want to focus on as a coach that's coaching this age group, you want to make sure your kids are fundamentally sound when it comes down to blocking properly, knowing how to run. You want high IQ kids at this level because, you know, most of the time coach is going to teach them kids, hey, Get the guy with the ball. <laughs> Get that guy with the ball. Well, I want to teach my kids to just know a little bit more how to block, where to block, how to tackle, where to tackle, things of that nature, all right? And then number two, guys, my favorite play in the beast offense, the strongman beast offense, guys, the good old wedge. I would line my kids up in a tank right or a tank left, and I would run the wedge all day. A lot of kids at this level, they don't know how to, to stop a wedge. And, you know, if your league don't have rules against wedges, I know some leagues do. If your league don't, this play is a cheat sheet. Teach your kids how to block in a wedge. And you can single-handedly win games running a wedge and power all day, guys. All day. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, how did you put up 72 points in your, your championship game? Guys, in my championship game, I, I ran tank left, you know, power probably 70% of the time. Or I say, yeah, 70, 60% of the time. And guess what the other play I ran? The 
good old wedge, guys. And that's how I put up 72 points. They could not stop me running my power play and running my wedge. Power wedge, power wedge. That's the best one-two combo you can use in running the beast offense, especially with the little guys, all right? And the third play, guys, that, that I would run, and this play is in my new playbook, the Strongman um, Beast Offense, the Super Sets is 2.0. If you're interested in this uh, playbook, it's a new playbook. It's going to be the first link in the description box. But, guys, what I would do, I would set up in a, in a Sigma set, guys. And what I'll do is I will put my Beast back in motion into a jet sweep and I run jet sweeps to the outside and what's so beautiful about the Sigma set guys this play is called Sigma left jet left is you can put this kid in into motion running the jet you can fake the jet and have your quarterback run a power you can even let me let me do something nasty real quick guys you can even put this Beast back into motion. And have a quarterback fake it and go the other way with it. Or the quarterback can keep it and go. That's, that's the beauty of the Sigma. The Sigma is all about misdirection, counters. You know, you think about the Wildcat. It's, it's got a very, you know, it, uh, it, it resembles a Wildcat look. And when you're in an 8 you 7 you 6 you 5 you this is perfect to create confusion once you establish your running game with the wide set and also with the regular tank set. All right, guys? And think about this. I only got three base plays out of three different formations, and I can always flip the plays. I can, I can go wide left, I, or I can go tank left, or I can go sigma right. And, and, you know, before you know it, guys, you got, you know, six to nine different variations of plays that you can run with these kids. And that's what I do. I keep it simple, and I make them very good at doing the simple things, the fundamental things, guys. Um, that, that's what I would do. All right, guys, so I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. If you did, hit that like button for me guys so don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys and i want you to remember i got something new for you today guys i want you to win more score more beast out more peace